In today's Star Wars Legends lore video, we're talking about the craziest ship ever envisioned for the Star Wars universe, the Double Decker Star Destroyer. Hey guys, this is Eckhart's Letter. Hello and welcome to another Star Wars Legends lore episode. Today we have something very strange, but in my opinion, very interesting. We are looking at some of the very first expanded universe content for the Star Wars universe, or should I say, almost expanded universe content. As some of you, especially those of you who are around when the Star Wars trilogy first came out, probably know, Star Wars toys were absolutely huge. In the 1970s and 80s, Kenner was the chief producer of Star Wars action figures, and they made over 100 Star Wars models. Everything from Jawas, to Luke Skywalker, to my personal favorite, Yak Face. It would be hard to exaggerate just how popular and profitable these toys were, not only for Star Wars, but also for the Kenner brand. It's probably no surprise then that in 1983, with the release of Return of the Jedi, Kenner was scared. They saw one of their biggest money makers starting to run out of content. This notably was also before the post Return of the Jedi content had started coming out. It was before the Thrawn trilogy, so there was no way for Kenner to produce further Luke Skywalker or Han Solo action figures. These circumstances nearly led to the very first post Return of the Jedi content for the Star Wars Expanded Universe. Kenner created an entirely new storyline, villain, ships, and of course outfits for Luke Skywalker and Han Solo, which they pitched to Lucasfilm. Ultimately, Lucasfilm did deny the pitch. So the things mentioned in this video are actually non-canon, they were never even part of the Legends continuity. Still, I do think it is an interesting topic to examine. The story would have seen an old warlord from the time of the Clone Wars, which was much different back in the 80s, come out from hiding and attack the galaxy after the death of Palpatine. I assume he would have been somewhat like one of the old clone masters mentioned in the Thrawn trilogy. Anyway, he would have been fighting the Alliance, led by Luke Skywalker and Han Solo, and the Empire, who would have been led by Moff Tarkin, who somehow survived the Death Star explosion. The craziest thing about this story, in my opinion, is not that some old Clone Wars combatant named Atha Prime invades from the outside of the galaxy. Rather, it's his personal flagship. At the Prime was supposed to use a battle cruiser named the Annihilator in battle. The Annihilator was, in fact, simply two Star Destroyers connected together. I call this a double decker Star Destroyer because it seems like they literally would have just been placed on top of each other vertically. He also had a personal starfighter, which could have integrated into the command tower of the top Star Destroyer. Really, this idea makes zero sense. I can't see any benefit to having two Star Destroyers tied together. I mean, instead of being able to flank your enemy or do multiple things at the same time, now you're tied together with one massive hulking ship. Well, I guess there was one benefit of being able to command both ships from a single bridge, but that really doesn't make sense in the real world. Obviously, this whole arc was meant to design toys, so they created something which was basically just two previous models glued together. Because of that, I can understand why Lucasfilm waited until the Thrawn trilogy to properly kick off the post-Return of the Jedi expanded universe. Because the proposal was rejected, that means we don't have very many pictures of the main plot elements. For example, I can only find one picture of the Annihilator. But let me know what you think. Do you think that this would have made an interesting addition to the Star Wars universe? Do you think the idea of a double-decker Star Destroyer is silly, or am I being a little too critical? Let me know all of that and more down in the comments. Also, I briefly mentioned earlier that in the 80s, the idea of the Clone Wars was much different than it is now. If you want to learn more about that, click the annotation in the upper right hand corner to go to a video that I made totally about that subject. Finally, I will be streaming some Star Wars Battlefront 2, most likely with some guests, so if you want to watch that tonight, go to twitch.tv slash Eckhart and follow me there, and I will be tweeting out when I start streaming. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. As always, this has been Eckhart's Letter. May the Force be with you. Thank you.